So Connor Brady, 51 and 0. There's Dylan Mason. Mason Green. Connor. 48 and 0 versus 51 and 0. Someone's going to lose. OAC Junior High State Championship, 126 pounds. And there is a shot by Connor. Brady, Connor Brady up 2-0 right now. The battle of two undefeated studs. And Jared Upper with the water. Clutch, clutch uh, water there. I'm getting parched, my friend. So Brady with a 2-1 lead right now on Dylan Mason. Mason in the green. Brady in the back. Mason from Sandusky Perkins. Brady with a 4-1 lead from Team Jordan. So you do the math on that. That is out of St. Paris, Tucky. Graham Falcons. And Brady with a go behind. 51 and over is 48. No, I don't know if you know that. And right now, Connor Brady up 6-2. Driver's seat, looking strong. 126 pound, championship final, OAC 2015 junior high version. Next week, we will have the grade school version. Brady on top, going to work. Hey, you're in the way, get out of the way, come on. I know, that's true. You see that crazy call? You missed that. Get, get video review it now. Like when Brands got in front of the camera when Ramos and Steve Was that really the reason why? Brands was in the camera view? Wow. When Logan Granby, Logan Granby turned, turned. Could have got two, the count of swipes. And I think Terry Brands was in the way. It's irony because when you're up moving around how they move around, you know, we understand you're passionate about coaching, and uh, but it ultimately costs their guy. And not the Tony Ramos, you know, I mean, he won the title next year, world team member, but it's ironic that that, you know, block it to the camera view. That did them in. That's what did them in, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I think Tony Ramos is going to beat uh, Logan Steber on any planet in the NCAA finals, but at least, you know, could go to overtime, you got a, you got a, uh, Puncher's chance, you know. Yeah. So here we go. Back to action. Connor Brady. Dylan is, we're just talking about people standing in front of cameras and obstructing views. And uh, it could be hurtful at times. Nason looking to come out. Brady strapping on the cradle or strapping on the saddle here. Brady gonna ride the period, gonna take a 6-2 lead into the second. This doesn't matter as much. That matters way too much. Can you do that for me? Thanks. So here we go. Mason covers. Brady out right away. 7-2 lead for Brady. Mason spins through there. Brady takes a little head outside shot. We're off the mat. We're going to get a restart. At 1 15. 15 seconds gone by. In the second, Brady dominant so far here, 7-2, 126-pound OEC Junior High State Championship final 2015. It's getting repetitive, but you got to know what you're watching, folks. Spin go behind Brady. Roll attempt, Nason. Nason unable to get it. 9-2 lead. We got blood now. Going to get that blood cleaned up. And just to give you some perspective on some of the Three-time OAC state champions here at this. Some of the three-time OAC state champions you've seen here would be, I don't know, guys like Logan Steber, this other guy named David Taylor. They've won this very tournament three times, and it is, quite frankly, a hammer of a tournament. Um, Hunter Steber, I believe, only won two titles, but he's pretty good, too. So just to drop some names, I believe both Palmers won this three-time. Uh, Lance and 
course, Colin, they're pretty good too. So we've had some great guys. And uh, Felipe Martinez, a three-time champion here. So this is the cream of the crop, the OAC. I believe it's the 17th edition of the tournament. So we're starting to see some really great guys come through and finish their college careers. who cut their teeth here on top-level competition. So the OAC, back to action here between Nace, Nason, and Brady. Connor Brady, 9-3 lead, 46 seconds remains. And we got more blood. They're going to get that cleaned up. So just to give you a little more perspective, you know, I, I was looking through the three-time champs. And it is quite a list of who's who, guys, in the Ohio High School State Championship. Also, in the NCAA Championships. So if you're not impressed, you should be. Tournament. I want to say the tournament started in 99, maybe 98. 98, I think, was the first year for the tournament. I'll get those facts from Jared Hopper, but you want to be the best in Ohio. You want to be the best in Ohio. This is what it takes to be the best in Ohio. I'm trying to get Nason's nose to stop bleeding here, and it is uh, got to get the double plugs, maybe even the tape going here, and... 138 pound weight class. Buying for seven. Might have a place. double nose bleed. Red, Both nostrils Kate bleeding. I don't know what they're gonna do here. 9-3 right now, 42 seconds Cameron, left. Second Simmons. period. Now, what I didn't know and what I found out was what I found out was there is blood time in high school. There is not blood time in high school in college. There's blood time in high school. I had to go to Reno, Nevada to learn this. Well night. I had to go to Reno, Nevada to learn that there is blood time. High school. You get five minutes and then you're done. Four and a half here. Oh, okay. So, but in college, there is no blood time. So, unfortunately, I had to fly to Reno, Nevada to learn that from a high school official. Excuse me. I could. Someone could have just told me on the internet at my house. But there it is. Brady, back to action here. Another takedown for Brady on Nason. 11-3 lead, second period, 33 seconds remains. And we're off the mat. We're going to get a new start. we got more blood. And just to give you perspective, they're at 2.30 and counting blood time. So we can see a situation where blood time runs out. And then along with blood time running out, we can see... We could see blood time run out. We could see injury time run out. And I, I have, I'm yet to see this yet, and uh, I don't want to see it. I want to see guys wrestle, and uh, that's what we come here for, not to run out of time. So we'll see. So back to action. There's action on the other mat. They're almost done over there. We're at 3.04 blood time. They cut the blood time. So 1.56. What is the blood time here? How much time do you have blood time? We've got 304 used. What do they get? They get five minutes community. Five minutes here too? Okay. So five minutes is, is the blood time here. And then if it run, they run out of blood time, they start their injury time. No. No? Run out of blood, they're DQ'd. Run out of blood, they're DQ'd. Yes. Run out of blood. I, and I only had to drive to Youngstown to find that out. I had to drive to Reno or fly to Reno to figure out that if... Uh, I think they might do it differently because in Reno I actually saw a guy take injury time where they were cleaning blood up. But in Reno, as soon as they stopped the blood, they cut it. So cleanup wasn't on there. It doesn't appear as though cleanup's on here either. Matthew Bravo, Matthew Bravo to the bullpen. Okay. So they're trying to get this thing fixed. Oh, and they're going, they're they're doing it. They're going to the old tape your nose shut. I don't know if you guys know anything about breathing, but it's important. Breathing very important to the human body, and um, it's hard when they tape your nose shut. So, Nason, I like the warrior mentality here. I won't hold it against him that he's a Perkins pirate, and good shot of this trainer getting her bag fixed. And yeah, so here we go back to action. They tape. Nason's nose shut. 
and he's going to work. 15 seconds remains. There's a nice cross ankle pick there by Brady, and we got a good shot of this official and this lady standing right in front of the camera. And uh, hey, can you move? Next. So, all right, here we go. 13 to four. It is impressive to watch Brady work right now. He's going to the third period. It's okay. Could have been better, but it's okay. What are you up to? Where are you going? Okay. So, armbar on top now. The old nose tape, Will, it'll get you. Connor Brady with a 13 to four lead right now. You can see up in the corner of the clock, and now he's cranking left power half. Nason is a really tough kid. Because Nason's got his nose tape shut, and he's not going over to that power half. He's fighting it hard. And now he's leveraging him over here. Connor Brady looking for a fall here. Probably going to have to readjust, and he does. He takes that boot out, and there's a fall for Connor Brady, your champ at 126 pounds. He is not bad. I take him on my squad. And there's a championship. Team Jordan gets a title. Connor Brady.